10 exercises to get rid of back and armpit fat in under 10 minutes. There's nothing more frustrating than putting on your best outfit and noticing your back and armpit rolls poking out. And what's worse, these areas can be so hard to target at the gym. But don't worry, we've prepared the perfect workout that'll help you eliminate chest and upper back fat once and for all. And guess what? You don't even need to leave the comfort of your own home. All you need is a jump rope, two dumbbells, a stability ball, an exercise mat, and just 10 minutes of your time. And before you get into your workout clothes, be sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications so that you'll always be the first to see what's new on the bright side of life. All right, now let's get to fighting that flab. Exercise number one, jump rope. As with any workout sesh, it's important to warm up and get that blood flowing. Today, we're gonna accomplish that by jumping some rope. Uh, jump roping? Whatever it is, just don't forget to turn the rope with your wrists only. Set your timer for two minutes. On your mark, get set, go. While you're jumping away, let's talk about why it's important to warm up before exercise. As you can guess by the name, warming up increases your body temperature by revving up your heart rate and blood circulation. This not only prepares your body for strenuous activity, it also makes your muscles, tendons, and ligaments more flexible to prevent injury. Warm-ups usually consist of light cardio exercises and stretching. But why jump rope? First of all, it's great cardio. Plus, it targets the shoulders, back, chest, thighs, abs, and calves. According to the Jump Rope Institute, yes, it's a thing, it's also good for your brain. Jumping rope helps develop the left and right hemispheres of the brain to not only further improve spatial awareness and reading skills, but also increase memory and mental awareness. One more minute, you're doing great. As for the International Youth Conditioning Association, they say that jumping rope strengthens the muscles of your feet, ankles, and knees and improves stability in the joints of the leg. You'll definitely find that useful once we get into the rest of the exercises in today's workout. Who would have guessed that this seemingly childish activity was so good for you? You feel that heart rate increasing yet? Keep going, we've got 30 more seconds. And done. Take a moment to catch your breath and we'll move right along. Exercise number two, jab cross with dumbbells. You're gonna need dumbbells for this exercise, obviously. But if you don't have any, you can use two canned goods or water bottles filled with water or sand. Just make sure the cap is on tight. Start by standing with your feet a little wider than shoulder width apart and your knees slightly bent. Keep your elbows tight against your sides, but bend them so that the dumbbells are right in front of your chest. Push your left arm out in a punching motion. Return to the starting position and then push your right arm out. Let's put one minute on the clock. And go! Right jab, left jab, right, left. Get to know your inner boxer. Remember that annoying armpit flab we talked about earlier? Yeah, this exercise will annihilate it. In fact, it also targets your whole upper body and improves your speed and coordination. Keep switching arms. Feel the burn. We've got 30 more seconds. Dumbbell cross jabs will give you the shoulders of your dreams. And you know what that means. Hello, tank tops. Five, four, three, two, one, and done.
Exercise number three, chest press with legs extended. Now grab your exercise mat. Still got your dumbbells with you? Good, you'll need them. Lie on your back with your hips and knees bent at a 90 degree angle. That'll bring your feet up off the floor. Hold a dumbbell in each hand, put your arms out the sides on the ground and bend them so that your wrists are in line with your elbows. Bring your arms together up over your chest and lift your shoulders off the mat while straightening your legs. Return to the starting position. Let's set the timer for 45 seconds and begin. This exercise alone is a full body workout. It strengthens the chest, abs, back and triceps. Oh, and of course, can't forget about the upper and lower abs. Get ready for the six pack of your dreams. And you can finally kiss that annoying little belly pooch goodbye, or good riddance if you ask me. Chest press with legs extended also improves posture and flexibility. Three, two, one, and phew, nailed it. Exercise number four, upright row. Keep hold of those dumbbells for this one too. If you have a barbell, you can grab it instead. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart and your back nice and straight. Hold the barbell or dumbbells in your hands and let them hang in front of your hips. Bend your elbows and bring them out to the sides to raise the barbell until it reaches the top of your chest. And slowly bring it back down to the starting position. We're gonna do this one for a minute straight. Get to it. This exercise targets the upper and middle back, improving the symmetry of your core, and that equals better posture. I know, it's something our parents and teachers always told us we need, but why exactly is that? Harvard Health Publishing reminds us that standing and sitting up straight is important for balance and helps you maintain correct form while exercising. Plus, it actually improves your self-esteem, concentration, and oxygen circulation. Okay, 10 more seconds. And done. Feels good to know you'll be looking good, right? Exercise number five, Swiss ball chest press. Don't put those dumbbells away just yet. You'll still need them. Grab an exercise ball too. If you don't have one, a comfy bench will do. Lie on the ball so that the middle of your upper back is supporting you. With a dumbbell in each hand, extend your arms out to the sides. Keep your elbows slightly bent and facing up to avoid injury. Slowly pull your arms together so that they meet above your chest. Be careful, don't drop those dumbbells. And gently bring them back down to the sides. You've got 60 seconds for this exercise. Don't rush it, you're balancing on a ball after all. All right, you can begin. The Swiss ball chest press strengthens your shoulders, triceps, and chest muscles. In this exercise, the exercise ball complicates the task by increasing the range of motion, but it also makes it more effective. What's great about working the chest muscles under the breast is that it visually lifts them. So, if that's what you're looking for, here's your ticket. Come on, you've got this. Five more seconds. And done. Let's keep it moving. Exercise number six, push-ups. Hey, 
can't beat the classics. I'm sure everybody knows how to do a push-up, but it can't hurt to go through the form anyway, right? Get down on the ground with your arms extended in front of you. Your wrist should be directly below your shoulders. Keep your abs engaged so that your belly doesn't hang towards the floor. Slowly bend your arms to lower your chest until your nose is about an inch away from the ground. Push back up into the starting position. Of course, if you're not quite ready for the extended leg version, you can always do the bent knee one for now. So, instead of balancing on your toes, you'll be on your knees. Anyway, let's put 45 seconds on the clock, starting now. Push-ups are considered the most effective exercise against armpit fat. Doing push-ups daily will surely do the trick. In fact, you're probably feeling the burn in that area right about now. Or is it in your chest? You're working those muscles too, you know? Come on now, just a little more. Three, two, one, and done. Exercise number seven, curtsy lunge with side kick raise. It's lovely like a curtsy, but kicks like a ninja. Here's how to do it. Take a big step back with your left leg while simultaneously crossing it behind the right one. Bend your knees to do a curtsy. Stand back up. Kick your left leg out to the side and reach your left hand towards your left ankle. Try to kick your leg up to waist height if you can. Let's start with 30 seconds for your left leg. Ready? Go! As a compound movement, curtsy lunge with side kick raise engages the entire body. Once you get into your second week of training, you can do this exercise with a dumbbell in your reaching hand. Step back, stand up, kick. Back, up, kick. Almost there, and done. Well, not entirely, of course. Let's switch legs and do another 30 seconds on the right one, and go. Do you remember the move? Step back with your right leg now, bend, stand back up and kick that right leg out. Punch the air with your right hand. You're doing great. Be careful, don't knock over any antique vases or anything. A few more seconds and well done. Keep that energy up. Let's move on. Exercise number eight, plank rotation. Whoa, sounds complicated. Here's how it goes. Get down into a sort of push-up position, but spread your feet about hip width apart. Remember, your hands should be below your shoulders and your abs engaged. Slowly twist your core to the left and lift your left hand towards the ceiling. Bring your left hand back to the initial position and repeat on the right side. Think you can do it for 45 seconds? I know you can, so let's go. Planking is a great way to improve your flexibility and strengthen your entire core. Adding the rotations will help improve your balance and get those obliques working. That is, bye-bye muffin top. Again, you can throw some dumbbells into the equation when you start the second week of training. Of course, if you feel that's a little too risky for your liking, then just leave them out. Wow, you're really getting the hang of this. A little more and done. Exercise number nine, Superman hold. Don't worry, you don't need Superman powers to do this one. It's super easy. Lie face down with your arms extended up over your head. 
Engage your core and glutes to lift your arms, chest, and legs off the floor. See? You're like Superman flying. Piece of cake, right? We're going to set the timer for 30 seconds. Ready, set, go! The Superman hold is one of the most effective back exercises out there. It's a great body weight core move that targets the muscles that stabilize the back. Plus, what it does to your bum will leave you pleasantly surprised. A little more now, and rest. Hang in there because we have one more exercise to go. Exercise number 10, stretching. How about we finish this workout with some back stretching, eh? Grab your exercise ball, you're gonna need it. Put the center of your upper back on the ball. Bend back carefully while spreading out your arms and legs. We're gonna hold it for just 20 seconds, okay? Go ahead. Can you feel that stretch? Feels nice, right? It's like a reward for getting to the end of this intense workout. Think relaxing thoughts and go to your happy place. Three, two, one, and done. Give yourself a pat on the back, you deserve it. Do this entire workout at least two or three times a week. And if you want to see even better results, do three sets of each exercise. After just a month, you'll notice not only that your armpit and back fat have disappeared, but also improved muscle tone, posture, and confidence. Don't forget that exercise works best when combined with a healthy diet, so try to watch what you eat too. Do you know any other effective chest and back exercises? Feel free to share them with everybody in the comments. If you've enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a like and send it to your friends. Hey, maybe you can even do this workout together. Strength in numbers, right? We've got tons of fitness and diet videos on our channel, so make sure you're subscribed to The Bright Side of Life.